Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work in Dashlane to basically work around your passwords and distribute them to your coworkers or your colleagues. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, uh, Dashlane.com and actually get the extension for Dashlane password manager. So anytime you'll be in a need of logging in to the website for the first time, you can manage the password with the Dashlane. You can, you can save it and use it later, or you can move it to your, to your coworkers and stuff like that. So once you've got that, I already have it. It's in the top corner of your, your screen as a Dashlane, as you can see the generator and so on open in app for example that's basically how you can get the shortcut to your dashlane website and so on and so on at the moment i don't have any passwords here but that's about to change so once we get there i strongly recommend to, to click on those uh, three lanes to get or uh, enhance your sidebar. Now we have uh, get started options when you automatically completed the first one by creating your account. Uh, you can add your first, uh, uh, first password. We can try autofill or get the mobile app. We won't be focusing on this one because it's really easy. If you want to have your passwords on, uh, always uh, on your site, you can go and add uh, the first website. As you can see, there are a couple of uh, websites that we can use. For example, there's a PayPal, there's Instagram, Microsoft Live, Google, Facebook, and so on, uh, Amazon, uh, Netflix. So let's go with, for example, Spotify. You click on Spotify and you can select in the, the new a new, new window, we can click on login. There's a couple of ways how you can, how you can log in. And once you fill the email address and once you pay, uh, fill in the, the password, you'll be able to get your passwords inside the dash line and work around with it. We can still go back and uh, move to passwords. When we click on add passwords, we are we get redirected to the to the, uh, to the website that we already know, all, all those options, but we can click on the top left corner and click add a new. Now we can add a URL. Uh, we can go we can go for example with uh, asset.sk, login, let's go like this, and the password like this, name asset.sk, note, or autofill options. Uh, you want, if you want to automatically log me into this website, only autofill always require master password for this website. That actually means if you can uh, you'll always get to ask by Dashlane uh, this master password you entered upon creating an account. So we can do that and I'll show you. Let's go with save. And straight away, we have the first one. We can go to website straight away. And we are automatically logged in. Yeah, ignore. It's a pretty common Slovakian website for emails and stuff. Yet again, we can manage to uh, we can manage to we can manage the the website to be honest, or uh, this as a login by see details. As you can see, you can see the details. Go to website, copy passport uh, password copy login or share. When you want to share, uh, we can always share this password with the others. 
So let's go uh, with, for example, the email that I looked into. We can add a new contact, for example. We can add a couple more of them. Like this. You can go next. You can give them a limited rights or full rights. Let's go with limited uh, rights. People with limited rights can only use shared items with Dashlight. They cannot edit, share. Yeah, that's what we want. And share. Server error. Yeah. We have to find it out what happened, but it's probably because we are a master admin and we can't really uh, share them that easily. Or the Mm, yeah, I know where's the problem. The problem is they are not verified yet. So once you verify the account that you are uh, sending the passwords to, uh, you actually be able to. So that's how you uh, manage your account, but manage your passwords. You can go to add new like that. You can go with Gmail. You can go with your work account and so on and so on. Secured notes, you can go with a note, for example, dash lane passwords, you can save it, untitled note, you can share, delete. We have our personal information with email address, payments. IDs, you can add a new ID card, social security number, driver's license, passport, and tax number. That's a, in my opinion, quite a big stretch to uh, be able to trust any site with that type of information, but I would love to keep them in my mobile phone, for example, not in my computer, especially if you are working in in big environment of people. Sharing center, you can share the first item, which can be this one, next, enter, but I'm afraid it won't work yet again because it's not verified. So email, like this, let's go with try a full write, and that worked because this email is verified. Password and health or password health. This will show you all the uh, all the passwords that you have and how strong the passwords are. If it's uh, weak or if it's compromised and so on and so on. Dark web monitoring and my account. Since we have this my account, we can go with account summary. You can extend to the premium, uh, there your data privacy settings, contact email, and so on. We can manage uh, logins. So you can either use it in Chrome or you can uh, download Dashlane straight away to your computer. I don't want to do that. Let's go back. Security settings, your passwords, obviously. Your master password, which is the most important thing that you have in Dashlane, because no one would be ever would be able to give it back to you. You can import passwords in your CSV file. If you download the CSV file from, for example, Chrome with all uh, passwords that you have stored in there, you can just basically drag it in here and up upload it into into Dashlane, you can sync it. There are more features you can download, refer a friend such as a feature, terms of use, and so on and so on. And last thing is logout. You can also manage in the top right corner your Dashlane password manager. You can get rid of it pretty easily if you find out that uh, it's not the one for you. You can go like this in the uh, chrome.google.com and find the Dashlane password manager and remove it from Chrome. Remove, and all of a sudden, 
uh, you don't have this extension. So let's go back to dash line. And that's about it. So I find it very useful. If you need to manage your manage your passwords and be really safe with them. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.